Our Father. Our Father. Who art in heaven. Who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth. On earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this night. Give us this night. Our daily bread. Our daily rest. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those. As we forgive those. Who trespass against us. Who trespass against us. And lead us not, dear Lord. And lead us not, dear Lord. Temptation. It's a temptation. But deliver us. But deliver us. From the evil one. For you won't for that is the kingdom of power forever and ever. Good night, God. Good night, God. Want to report the good news that the baby that we prayed for is okay and is going home. And out of idle, out uh, of the emergency area for babies. And uh, the parents were holding the baby last night and the baby went home today. So praise be to God. A healing prayer, prayer for all our sick loved ones. Including my, politics. All, all my all my loved ones, all the loved ones of you out there, Almighty God, I come before your throne tonight on behalf of all my sick loved ones. Father, they are weak and their body is in pain and distress, Lord. I pray, dear God, that you have mercy on them and heal them, heal them, Lord, from these diseases. You are the healer, Lord. And the saver. You are Lord. You are, you are the all powerful one. The almighty one. There is nothing that is beyond you. So I humbly ask you. To touch them with your healing grace tonight Lord. And restore them to health. Remind them of your love for them. And help them to trust in you. For their recovery. Oh dear God. Show them your healing power. And make them whole again. And I ask this in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ, your son. Amen. Jesus is calling July 21st. Rest in my presence when you need refreshment. Resting is not necessarily idleness. As people often perceive it. When you relax in my company, you are demonstrating trust in me. Trust is a rich word laden with meaning and direction for your life. I want you to lean on trust and be confident in me. When you least on me, when you when you lean on me for support, I delight in your treating confidence. Trusting. Trusting confidence. Many people turn away from me when they are exhausted. They absolutely associate me with duty and in indulgence. So they try to hide from my presence when they need a break from work. Have how this sounds me as I spoke through my father Isaiah in returning to me and resting in me, you shall be saved in quietness and trust shall be your strength. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 Isaiah chapter 39 was 15. 
Mm -hmm. Isaiah 65, 1 to 7. God explains judgment. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me. To a nation that I did not call did not call on my name, I said, Here am I, here am I. All day long I have held out my hands to an obstinate people who walked in the ways not good, pursuing their own imaginations, a people who continually to pro provoke me to my very face, offering sacrifices in gardens burning incense on altars of brick who sit among the graves and spend their nights keeping secret vigil who eat the flesh of pigs and those and whose who, pots whose pots hold broth of impure meat who say keep away don't come near me for i am too sacred for you such people are spoke Smoke in my nostrils, a fire that keeps burning all day. See, it st stands written before me. I will not keep silent, but will pay back in full. I will pay back into their laps, both your sin and the sins of your ancestors, says the Lord, because they have burned sacrifices on the mountains and they defied me on the hills. I will measure into their laps, full payment for former deeds. Salvation of remnant. This is what the Lord says. And when juice is still found in a cluster of grapes, and people say, don't destroy it, there is still less a blessing in it. So I will do in behalf of my servants. I will not destroy them all. I will bring forth descendants from Jacob and from Judah, those who will possess my mountains. My chosen people will inherit them, and there will my servants live. Sharon will become a passing pasture for flocks, and the valley of Accor a resting place for herds. For my people who seek me, no mercy for the for, uh, for unrepentant. But as for you who forsake the Lord and forget my holy mountain, who spread a table of, for fortune and fill bowls mixed wine for destiny, I will destine you for the sword, and all you will fall in the slaughter. For I called, but you did not answer. I spoke, but you did not listen. You did evil in my sight and chose what displeases me. Blessing for servants. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. My servants will eat, but you will go hungry. My servants will drink, but you will go thirsty. My servants will rejoice, but you will be put to shame. My servants will sing out of joy of their hearts, but you will cry out from anguish of hearts and a wail in brokenness of spirit. You will leave your name for my chosen ones to use in their curses. The sovereign Lord will put you to death, but his servants, he will give another name. Whoever invokes a blessing in the land will do so by the one true God. Whoever takes an oath in the land will swear by the one true God. For the past troubles will be forgotten and are hidden from my eyes. A new heavens and a new earth. See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. Former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. I will create Jer Jerusalem to be a delight and its people a joy. I will rejoice over Jerusalem and take delight in my people. 
a sound of weeping and crying will be heard no more. Never again will there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not live out his years. The one who dies at a hundred will be brought, thought a mere child. The one who fails to reach a hundred will be considered accursed. They will build houses and dwell in them. They will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. No longer will they build houses that others live in them or plants that others eat. As for the day of trees, so will the day of my people. My chosen ones will long enjoy the work of their hands. They will not labor in vain, nor will they build children doomed for misfortune. For they will be the people blessed by the Lord, they and their descendants with them. Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speak, and I will hear. The wolf and the lamb will feed together. The lion will eat straw like the ox. The dust will be the servant's food. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, says God's majesty and power. This is what the Lord says. Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? Where will my resting place be? Has not my hand made all these things? And so they came into being, declares the Lord. These little ones I look on with favor. Those who are humble and contrite in spirit, and who tremble at my word. God's enemies will fall. But who's going to sacrifice a woe is like one who kills a person, a person. And whoever offers a lamb is like who broke a dog's neck. Whoever makes a grain offering is like one who presents a pig's blood. And whoever burns a memorial incense is like one worships an idol. They have chosen their own ways, and their delight in their abominations. So I also will choose harsh treatment for them, and will bring on them what they dread. For when I called, no one answered. When I spoke, no one listened. They did evil in my sight, and chose what displeases me. Hear the word of God, you who tremble at his word. You're all people who hate you, and exclude you because of my name have said. Let the Lord be glorified, that we may see your joy. Yet they will be put to shame. Hear the uproar of the city. Hear the noise of the temp from the temple. It is the sound of the Lord for paying his enemies all he deserve. Believers will be rewarded. Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers a son. Who has ever heard of such things? Who has ever seen things like this? Can a country be born in a day or a nation be brought Forth in a moment. Yet no sooner is Zion in labor, she gives birth to her children. Do I bring the to the do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord? Do I close up the womb? When I bring to delivery, says our your God, rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice greatly with her, all you who mourn over her. For well, you will nurse and be satisfied at her comforting breast, and you will drink deeply the delight of her overflowing abundance. But this is what the Lord says. I will extend peace to her like a river, the wealth of the nations like a flooding stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm. And Dan, and Dan led on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you, and you will be com comforted over Jer Jerusalem. When you see this, your heart will rejoice, and you will flourish like grass. The hand of the Lord will be to you, known to his servants, 
but his fury will be shown to his foes. Instruction, destruction of the wicked. See, the Lord is coming with fire. His chariots are like a whirlwind. He will bring down his anger and fury and his rebuke with the flames of fire. But with fire and, his, and with his sword, the Lord will execute judgment of all people. And many will, of those will be slain by the Lord. Those who consecrate and purify themselves to go into the gardens flowing, following me is following, following one who is among them, who eats the flesh of pigs, rats, and other unclean things. They will meet their end together with the one they follow, declares the Lord. Survivors we angelists. And I, because what they have planned and done, am about to come and gather my, the people of all nations and languages, and they will come and see my glory. I will set a sign among them, and I will send some of those who survive to the nations of Tar to Tartus, to the Libyans, the Lydians, who bring famous archers, to Tubai and Greece and to the distant islands that have not heard of my being or seen my glory. They will proclaim my glory among the nations, and they will bring all you people from all the nations to my holy mountain in Jerusalem as an offering to the Lord on horses and chariots and wagons and on mules and camels, says the Lord. They will bring them, as the Israelites bring their grain offering to the temple of the Lord in ceremonially clean vessels, and I will select some of them also to be priests and Levites, says the Lord. Eternal life and death. As the new heavens and the new earth that I make will endure before me, declares the Lord so will your name and descendants endure. From the one new moon to another, from one Sabbath to another, all mankind will come and bow down before me, says the Lord. They will go out and look on the dead bodies of those who rebelled against me. The worms that eat them will not die, the fires that burn will not be clenched, and they will be loathsome of, to all men. How could anyone anyway ignore or reject such powerful messages? It, a powerful message is difficult to fathom. But Isaiah himself speaks of those who will refuse to hear or see. Some will reject the message because they are willfully stubborn and others because they are caught in mater material pursuit or pleasurable diversions or even false religious worship. Perhaps the saddest of all, God's message will sometimes be hidden from the common people by the very ones who ought to bring understanding the religious leaders. Once again, Isaiah singles out these leaders for special judgment. It is quite possible that this very condemnation proves to be the death kneel for Isaiah, but tradition holds that Isaiah was sawed in two, oh wow, by his enemies during Manasseh's reign. Spiritual review on Manasseh. As a result of the Manasseh seeking captive to Babylon by the army of Renel eclipsing the Syrian Empire, during exile with many of his fellow countrymen, Manasseh is conscience stricken and sincerely repents. Constantly, God reestablishes Manasseh on the throne in Judah, and Manasseh does what he can to abolish the very idolatry 
he introduced. The Sword of Rockingians would know about the Assyrians' coup, in which Shankarab is assassinated by his own sons. And now we're in, uh, into Second Kings and Chronicles. Sanctuary was assassinated. One day he was worshipping in the temple of his god Nisroch. His son Amirak and Shazia killed him with a sword and they escaped Sylvia Lesara and Eshardon, his son, to keep him as king. Manasseh taken captive. The Lord took Manasseh and his people. But they paid no attention. So the Lord brought against them the army commanders of the king of Assyria and took Manasseh prisoner and put a hook, a hook to his, in his nose and bound him with barn shackles and took him to Babylon. The repentant brings restoration. In his distress, he sought the fear of the Lord his God and humbled himself greatly before the God of his ancestors. And when he prayed for them, God was moved by his entire entreaty and listened to his plea. So he brought him back to Jerusalem and to his kingdom, and Manasseh knew that the Lord is God. Manasseh reforms Judah. After he rebuilt the outer wall of the city of David, west of the Gihon Spring in the valley, as far as the entrance of the fish gate, our encircling hill fell. He also made it much higher. He stationed military commanders in all four five states in Judah. He got rid of the foreign gods and removed the image from the temple of the Lord, as well as all the altars he had built for the temple hill in Jerusalem. And he threw them out of the city. And then he restored the altar of the Lord and sacrificed lots of offerings and thing garments on it. And told Peter to serve the Lord, the God of Israel. The people, however, continued to sacrifice in high places, but only to the Lord, their God. Heavenly Father, I'm more confessing you with Jesus that the devil has no more power over me. I don't believe in his lies. Always remember the devil of its power blind signs and bake. Wonders. Unconditional acceptance. Accept one another, then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to the Lord. Romans 15, 7. If she gossips less, if he shared his feelings more, it it's easy, isn't it, to list the ways other people could change for the better? We know that we are called to live in harmony with one another, but our others can really make it difficult. But we need to accept one another as Christ accepted us. Jesus takes us as we are broken, imperfect, sinful. If this is how the Savior welcomes us, who are we to put conditions on our acceptance of anyone else? Lord, thank you for accepting me just as I am. You see my past, my many flaws, and you love me for, for me. Help me to see others as you see them and glorify to you through unconditional acceptance. That's hard. You know, sometimes that's really hard, no matter. And we work on that because this is what God wants us to do is to accept them. I can't believe it's already the 21st. Don't give up. Have you felt like giving up lately? Let's stop thinking about the vastness of the journey. Let us recognize that when things seem out of control, God is always in control. And this is what God has to say tonight. I will transform your splendid, splittered life into something that will give life to others. 
There are times when you wonder how you'll make it through the next month, week, or even hour. But I am using your trials to build your strength. The Apostle Paul understood this principle. He said, I was given a gift of a handicap to keep me in constant touch with my limitations. Satan's angel did his best to get me down, but what he in fact did was push me to my knees. When your trials propel you into my presence, the enemy can't win. Today, I want you to focus on my names and attributes. Consider the strength at your disposal. I am your shield. I will provide protection from the enemy. I am your El Shaddai, your all-sufficient supporter. I am your strong tower, a place of refuge. When you're afraid, my power will defend you and equip you with the resources you need. Thank you, Lord, you do for me. The enemy expects you to throw up your hands and surrender, but he is powerless against the strength I am pouring into you. Your endurance in the face of suffering redeems your sorrow and gives hope to a watching world. So we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart on us. On the inside, where God is making a new life, not a day goes by without his unfolding grace. 2 Corinthians 4, 16. Praise be to God. God is with us every single day. Sometimes you can see them, and sometimes Satan will blind your eyes. But God is with us every single day. We have a crisis in this country. I'm not going to talk about it. But what I am going to say, join this army. This army that wants to save the nation. And what would this army use? We won't use guns. We won't use knives. We won't use battering men's. But what we will use is we'll get our butts out and vote. And that's what we need to do. So this army that I'm trying to build for God, to vote for righteousness, for safety, for our children, for our country. That's one way we can win. No matter what, this army is going to be very successful. You pray. And don't vote for anybody that believes in murder is okay. That's one of the things that I'm saying. We all belong to God. He's the one that created us. He's the one that controls our life. You can choose to believe or not believe. I just hope you choose to believe. I believe he's knocking at the door of your heart tonight. Let him in. And if you have let him in, share this with somebody else. They may not understand what the, what the Bible is um, read, we're reading because they're just joining. The one, but the ones that have been with us all along reading through the Bible. We're asking that you give us a like and share it to other people. May God bless you and keep you and may his light shine upon you this night. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, you take care of yourselves. Today is a little bit of a questionable day in this world, but... We praise Jesus always. Good night and amen.